Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another hair video. If you are new here, please don't forget to like and comment on this video and also subscribe and hit that bell button for more videos. So today we are going to be doing a root melt and a toner on my client, including a little dusting on her ends. Now I'm going to be keeping it super simple. As you guys can see, her natural is kind of dark. It's about a level four exactly. So we're keeping it simple like again I said, and we're using Matrix Color Sync in 4A. Now I usually like to always do ashes on my client just because she likes the cooler tone. She hates when she sees any type of warmth, especially any type of red in her hair. She freaks out. So Using that ash is going to cancel out that red. Remember, green cancels out red, and red cancels out green. It's on the color wheel. So if you ever have a hard time trying to decide on what color you need to cancel out on your client's hair, always refer back to the color wheel. So when I do my root mounts on my clients, I usually like to go in and do them kind of like I'm doing a retouch. And as you guys could see, she's got her hair kind of grown out. Now usually what we do with her is always do like a root tap after doing her balayage. That way she doesn't see that new, new growth come in so harsh. But instead she just wants to now allow her hair to grow out and be more of a balayage and not so high and we're just going to mount it pretty much is all that we're doing with the root mount so i'm going to go in like i'm doing a regular retouch and in some parts you guys will see that i will go down a little bit more and all i'm doing is just blending out that color also guys, thank you so much for 40K subscribers. I appreciate all of you. And if you happen to wanna follow me on Instagram, I will link it right here and also down below in the description box as well. Also, for those of you that watch my videos, as you guys could see, I am in a new studio. I recently just moved a salons into a new salon studio and I am loving it. If you guys want to see an updated new salon tour video, I actually posted it last week at the, or actually beginning of the week, <laughs> sorry about that. And yeah, it's up, it's the video before this one, so go check it out. I also want to say I have been getting a lot of love from you guys and so many questions on Instagram. I try my best to reply to all of you guys a lot of the times when on Instagram, the messages that I have, sometimes I don't see all of them. They go into my request and I kid you guys not, I have like 80 request messages and they build up every single day. I try my best, like I said, to get through all of those and also to my clients messaging me. So I apologize if I'm not getting to you guys just know that I do see your guys's messages and with love I appreciate all the support that you guys give me and for those of you also wondering if I am accepting new clients I'm actually not I am not accepting new clients I haven't been for a while now I know a lot of you guys from here on YouTube always message me asking to make an appointment but unfortunately I am NOT taking new clients um, before I even started doing YouTube I had already had my clientele built up in the city that I live in so just want to kind of throw that out there to you guys but thank you guys so much and hopefully one day if I ever get like an assistant or something or open up my own actual salon I will be so happy to accept you guys so when applying that root mount, as you guys saw, I took a wide tooth comb and mine was from the wet brush and all I did was kind of drag down the color. Now you don't want to drag it down too much because if you do, then the color, the dark color will drag down a lot. So usually what I'll do is just I'll kind of drag it down a little bit and then lift it out as soon as possible. And this is just creating a better blend that way you don't have harsh lines.
So now it's time for the toner and I'm going to be using Redken Shades EQ 9N and 8T, both equal parts with the Redken Shades EQ processing solution. Now a lot of the questions that I get asked from you guys is why did I use that toner and the reasons why is because, especially for this client, she lifts usually very yellow. Her hair always comes out with a warmer tone just because look at how dark her natural is. And so a lot of the time she's going to get a little bit on the orangey or brassy side. So the 9N is going to neutralize any else of the color and the 8T is a silver because she loves having that cool kind of ashy tone. So that's why I use this on her. Now keep in mind guys, just because I use this on my client doesn't mean that it's going to work on your guys' clients. It is so important as being professional hairstylists to know the background of your color line that you're using. Now, if you aren't a professional hairstylist and you're trying to do something like this, I really recommend and push it on you guys to go to a professional. A professional is going to know what they're doing because I've seen a lot of people that say they watch my videos and they tried using that toner. Just because I use it, it doesn't make that it's going to work on your guys' clients. You really have to know the basics of coloring care, the color wheel, and knowing kind of what you're doing. I don't want you guys to mess up the hair or, you know, something go wrong. So it's always Always just best that if you guys go to a professional. All right, y'all, so this is the final outcome. I love the way this came out. I love doing root mounts just because it makes the hair look so nice. And also, too, if you're not trying to spend so much money getting your hair done every so often, root mounts sometimes are the ways to go. So I hope that y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys next time.